Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The Armenian Church of St. Astvatsatsin in one of Western Armenia is on the verge of destruction. Ahtamar Karsanani, Turkish blogger, talks about the Armenian heritage in Western Armenia. Let's get acquainted with the historical places of Western Armenia, the Hassan Caves of Tigranakert. What happened between Kazakhstan and Turkey, Tiran Lokmajazian? A fire broke out in a village of Shorshin Artsakh at night. The Gurdjieff Ensemble presents Armenian music written in Western Armenia to the world. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The Red Church built in the historic Armravank Monastery complex in the Gevash district of Van in Western Armenia was abandoned of the mercy of fate. The church built in the 10th century is under threat of complete destruction and needs protection. This magnificent temple built by the King Kagik I of Vasparakan in the middle of high mountains has been destroyed and looted many times by treasure hunters. The church which suffered during the Hamid massacre in 1895 was severely damaged during the genocide of Armenian people in 1915. During the genocide, after the expulsion and murder of Armenians, it was completely abandoned. It is noteworthy that the church is under the protection of the Minister of Culture and Tourism, but no restoration work is underway. Argun Konuk is a Turk. He has no Armenian roots, but most of his video blogs are dedicated to the Armenian heritage in Turkey. My content is not political. I am interested in cultural objects, and as a Turk, I consider myself responsible for showing the full picture of my country. The young Turk Argun Konuk begins most of his YouTube blogs with this sentence. Since December 2020, Argun has been shooting various videos, most of which are dedicated to the Armenians living in Turkey and the Armenian heritage remaining in Turkey. The article is fully available on our official website. The settlement of Hassan, located in Silvan province of Tigranagert in western Armenia, is a thousand-year-old wonder of nature with more than 300 caves. Some of them have three floors, others have five and seven floors. Caves are one of the most important settlements in the region, especially in the early period of spread of Christianity. This settlement and caves, which were the settlement of the first people since the Mesolithic, are considered one of the oldest caves of outer Mesopotamia. Buildings such as staircases, waterways, and cave churches were built by humans to meet social and cultural needs. The caves are connected to each other with passages. There is a small amphitheater next to the church cut into the rock. Archaeologists believe that the Urartian, Persian, Persians and Empire of Tigran the Great influenced the geography. As we can see, the history of the indigenous Armenian people of Western Armenia dates back thousands of years and is evidenced by such structures and monuments. Archaeologist Diran Lokma Gezan referred to the unrest in Kazakhstan and a settlement of former Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu. According to the archaeologist, Turkey has far-reaching plans not only in Kazakhstan but also with the Turkish-speaking peoples of Central Asia, for the implementation of which it has spread huge funds over the past 20 years. Until recently, Kazakhstan was one of Turkey's most loyal assistants in the implementation of these programs, but now a black cat has passed between these two countries, and if Kazakhstan fails to complete their revolution, that has become turkish Kazakh relations may become more tense and if everything is to Turkey's liking, then the influence of not only Turkish but also anti-Russian pro-American forces in Kazakhstan will increase. Lokma Gezan said that former Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu was upset that a CSTO member state sent peacekeeping units to Kazakhstan. He expressed concern that Kazakhstan has asked for help for the Collective Security Treaty Organization, which is currently chaired by Armenia. On January 8, a call was received for a resident of Stepanakir that a fire broke out the village of Shosh in Askeron region. According to primary data, the blanket caught fire. According to the Minister of Emergency Situations or the Minister of Internal Affairs of Republic of Artsakh, a fire and rescue squad of the State Emergency Service immediately went to provide assistance to the population. The fire was localized. A blanket belonging to a resident of the village of Shosh and the sinks inside burned completely. The fire did not spread to nearby buildings. There are no victims. The case is being investigated by the State Fire and Technical Safety Inspectorate. The Ensemble Gurdjieff completed 2021 with a foreign tour. The Ensemble performed on the prestigious stages of France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Hungary and Luxembourg, receiving thousand applause. The start of the tour was given within the framework of one of the most famous festivals of the Netherlands, November Music. The artistic director of the Ensemble, Levon Escanyan, emphasizes all the concerts were excellent, but he attaches particular importance to the evening held in the Hungarian concert hall, Mubá Budapest, in which the Ensemble performed the program Bartok 
Bartok and Komijas. Folk melodies recorded in the 1930s by Bela Bartok, collected from the Armenian villages of Western Armenia, were played. Bartok is one of the greatest composers of 20th century, and they often draw parallels between him and Komitas, noting that Bros did similar work collecting folk music, trying to create a new language in classical music. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in self-promotion. Our work is aimed at preserving and developing ties between our compatriots and the homeland. At this historic stage, we are all obliged to support our national demands. In order to face together the challenges, we face and achieve the establishment of our just rights, which unfortunately are ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle lasts a long time, but victory is unavoidable. Western Armenia hopes for your support on this difficult pass. Together we can do more. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.